Okay, in this video we're going to be dealing with importing textures and painting them onto different surfaces. So we'll start by going to File, Import. We've already specified a JPEG. We have two options over here on the right on these radio buttons. One of them is Use as an Image, which will work, but we're going to do it directly as a texture. So we'll select the material file and open it and when you paint as a texture you obviously have to paint it directly onto a surface. So we just eyeball it about the right size and click again and it's painted. And the moment you do that you'll see that it has now appeared in the materials browser and the in model tab. So we can pick this now and paint it onto all of the other vertical surfaces. And that includes the two end grains at the front. And they all look fine, but if we try and paint it onto this one, it's wrong because you would normally expect the grain in this instance to be going left to right, not front to back. We can use it front to back to make the end grains on the two end pieces there, but it's not right in the middle. So we'll have to right click that and go to texture position now you have got rotate handle there but I would resist using that because you're more likely to rescale or skew the texture in some way than you are to rotate it um, if you just do it again right click again and choose rotate you've got 90 180 or 270 degrees so we'll just do that and it's done now we can sample that one by holding down Alt and then paint it onto all of the other horizontal surfaces and it will go on correctly and the same with those as well to paint the end grain on the shelves themselves. And we're done with everything going in the right direction. Now that's okay for simple flat planes like those shelves but if you were to paint directly onto the bowl like that you get a rather nasty effect uh, which doesn't look at all that it's all right painting it on the the rim like that but this just looks nasty so what we'll do is we'll go to view hidden geometry the only bit that's correct here is the center part so if we do this again and go to projected, we've turned that into a projected texture, uh, which is being projected straight down. And really that's what we want for the rest of the bowl as well. So if we now turn off the hidden geometry and we paint the rest of the, the bowl with the projected texture that we have just sampled, then it goes on looking far more naturalistic and we can do the same for the outside as well. So that shows you the difference between a straight texture as it comes out of the material browser and the projected texture which occasionally have to do when using on rounded surfaces or terrains. Thanks for watching.